milk. Drinking black coffee because we don't have any milk. I'm too lazy to go to the store and get more or to get another coffee. Oh my God. Anyways, happy whatever day it is that I end up posting this. I saw Paige Lorenz upload a video similar to this where she just shows all of her current favorites. But since I've never done a favorites video, I'm just gonna show like, like my favorite things, but not, oh my God, I just sounded so country. So I wanna show my favorite things, but not specifically my current favorites. Like these are things, why am I making this so hard to explain? These are my favorite things that I use on a daily basis that I think you should also use. Jeez. Oh, also I just got a PR box from Hangover Hoodies and they always put like little like, knickknacks in there they sent me these little ducks i don't know where to put them but they're so cute also i just got this shirt okay you can't even fucking see look how cute it is been wanting it for so long and it came today so i'm really excited okay wow my adhd is really on 10 today so let's just get into the video so i have a lot of like beauty-ish items so i guess we'll start with those first i love lip plumping lip gloss and i've tried so many and every time someone like recommends one on tiktok i always go out and buy it and every time i buy a new one i regret it because i always end up coming back to this one this is the la girl lip plumper i use the tinted one but they also make a clear one but i like the tinted one because it's really pink and i like to use the charlotte tilbury pillow talk liner which is like really dark and like kind of cool toned, I guess. Um, so this just kind of helps like make it less intense, but it also like, this is the only lip plumper that I feel like actually works and like lasts. The last lip plumper that I bought because of TikTok was the Buxom like lip serum and it was like $30. And I'm so mad because it, it just does not even compare to this. And I've had this tube for so long and I, I it's like not even close to being out so anyways also i will make sure to include links to everything in the description but um since we're talking about lips i use this only whenever i am like filming or like going out which like i never go out but i don't use it on a daily basis because i literally cannot stand when my hair gets stuck in my gloss it that's just like a different kind of anger for me so this is the jouet i hope i pronounced that right um lip oil this stuff is like one of my holy grail products. I always have this with me and since it's a lip oil, it's not sticky, but it still gives you like the gloss effect. And then it's also hydrating. So I don't know, it's kind of like bougie aquaphor, but mine, oh fuck. Mine is like pinkish because I like put it over like lip liner and then it just like turns a color, but it's usually clear. I think this is like my fourth bottle of it. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but this stuff is amazing anyways moving on i think this is the only other makeup product oh wait no i have two more makeup products so okay y'all know that i love like a good fluffy soap brow or whatever and i do use the anastasia um brow freeze which is really good in my opinion it's like the best on the market for getting like that look but i have noticed sometimes throughout the day they will start to like fall and flatten and so basically i just wanted something that was going to preserve what the brow freeze was doing because i like the initial look of it so this is the 24 hour brow setter from benefit this turns your brows into blocks of cement in a good way i am not worried about my brows moving at all whenever uh, after i started using this stuff so i do the anastasia stuff and then i fill them in and then i put this on over it and they don't move so yeah this stuff is amazing and then this is like a random favorite because i don't really use it very often but it's really pretty I saw someone on TikTok post about it. Um, apparently it's a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury, um, I think it's called like a moon stick maybe, I don't know. But it's from e.l.f. and it's the No Budge Shadow Stick in Champagne Crystal. And basically it's just like a highlighter stick thing, but I use it right here like on the inner corners and it just gives like a little subtle whatever. Um, I saw the girl on TikTok, she uses it in her waterline, but I don't like brightening my waterline because my eyes are already huge. And so I usually prefer to put like a dark color there. Okay, and then I posted about this on my Instagram like once before, I think, but people always ask me what I smell like. I've actually never been like a perfume junkie, like one to like try out new perfumes. I pretty much like stick to what I like um, for a long time. So I used, God, what is it called? Toka something. I don't know. I used it for like years 
um and then i used the brazilian crush like body mist but that like doesn't last long at all and so a few months ago i went to sephora because i wanted to invest into a perfume that i could just wear every single day i'm not the type of person to be like i want to buy a daytime perfume nighttime perfume luxury like i don't know like there's so many people on tiktok have like 50 different perfumes for like different occasions i use juliet has a gun not a perfume but this is the super dose this is just a remake of the original but it's just stronger and it lasts longer but basically it's just like very um neutral musky like the guy told me it was like musky floral it just smells very like clean to me personally i literally cannot stand like sweet vanilla -y scents on myself. I feel like I'm not really a warm vanilla -y person. But yeah, I've been using it every single day since I got it. Um, it's definitely like my favorite perfume that I've ever smelled. And whenever I first went to the store and like tried it on and put it on my wrists, I can't really smell it now because I use it every day. But after that day, like at Sephora, I wore this jacket and every time I wore that jacket for like the next two weeks, I could smell it like on the jacket. And so it definitely has like long lasting power. All right, let's talk about jewelry. Of course I have to self promo really quick. So if you didn't know, I did a collaboration with Every Jewels and came out with my own three piece collection. And so this is the necklace. I really hope you can see it. Focus focus i have no idea if it's focused anyways i'll put a picture in um but then these are fuck these are the earrings i wanted to do something um that could be like a daily hoop but something that's a little different just because like i mean i feel like everyone has a pair of like gold plain hoops that they wear every day and then this is the ring which literally turned out so amazing i was so happy when i got like the sample pieces of everything because each piece was my idea but i didn't know what they were going to be able to do with my ideas and everything turned out exactly the way that i wanted it to so the collection will definitely be linked in the description if you do end up purchasing any of the pieces make sure you tag me if you wear them so i can see i'm very excited to see you guys wearing my collection moving on to toothpaste <laughs> something that i am very i don't know if self-conscious is the word but i am one of my biggest fears is meeting someone or talking to someone and i smell bad it's just always in the back of my mind i mean i guess everyone should want to smell good but it's just like something that i'm always like so paranoid about and specifically my breath which is why i'm like always chewing gum but this toothpaste is amazing Basically, it's meant to like fight against bad breath for up to 24 hours. And my mom actually is the one that recommended it to me. It's the Smart Mouth. And they also make a mouthwash. And they have these little packets. I don't have any with me right now, but my mom has like a bunch. They're like these little travel packets that you just like squeeze into your mouth. I've been using this for like a year now. And I am not nearly as like worried about having bad breath like since I've been using this. And then like a random favorite of mine is these clips. You've probably seen them that like literally everyone uses them, but these are like the only clips that will hold my hair for like longer than 10 minutes. I mean, I do still have to adjust these like, I don't know, like every hour or something, but these are the best ones that I've found and they come in like so many different cute colors. Obviously I only use the black ones, but if you want like pink or green or whatever they have that i get a lot of questions about a lot of things but my tanning routine is definitely up there in like the top five so i do have a tanning membership out of palm beach tan so i generally get a spray tan i honestly don't get them as often as i used to i used to get a spray tan at least once a week maybe even twice a week but i mean that was like insane that was when i like actually worked at a tanning salon um but now i would say i go like maybe once a week um probably once every two weeks. When it starts to fade or like if it's fading and I have an event and I don't have time to get a tan, my favorite self tanner to use is the Saint Tropez Express Tan. It says that if you want it to be dark, like you can just leave it on for three hours and then like wash it off, which I guess is true, but I usually put it on at night and then sleep in it because since it's an express tan, I feel like it gets darker than like the dark tan, but this is like my favorite color of self tan that I have ever been able to find. This is the only one that doesn't turn me orange. And honestly, it doesn't have that bad of transfer. Obviously there is a little bit, but I have tried some self tanners where I put it on and it just, it gets everywhere. And then to put it on, I use the Saint Tropez Mitt. I have a few things left. I'm gonna be honest, I am not like into skincare. Like I'm not one to try new things or like read into ingredients or like care about stuff like that. And so for like the past year, I've just used CeraVe um, face wash and moisturizer. But Murad sent me a PR package and this is not sponsored. Whenever I do get skincare PR, I usually try everything, but I rarely end up loving something enough to start using it every single day. And so whenever I talk about skincare, like on here or on my Instagram story, that means that I actually do really love it. 
because I'm not one to like change up a routine of any kind. Once I have a routine down, I don't want to change it. But anyways, Murad sent me this water gel moisturizer and let me tell you, I love this stuff so much that I get excited to wash my face in the morning so that I can put this on and I hate washing my face. I only use it in the morning time because because it's like minty. Like it has like, I, it might have like menthol in it or something. I honestly have no idea, but it is literally the most refreshing feeling. And I honestly have no idea why or like what's in it that does that. But every time I put this on my face, it like instantly wakes me up. I don't know. It's, I just love it. Next, you probably also know what these are. Um, These are called liquid IV. And I'm pretty sure it's like similar to a Gatorade. It just has like a bunch of extra electrolytes and it basically just multiplies your hydration intake so most people that i've seen talk about these say that they use it like after a night out of drinking or like before a night out and they like don't have a hangover they have like different ones for different reasons but this is just like the regular for hydration one. personally i just drink them um for the added hydration whenever i feel like i need like a little boost and whenever i drink them i feel like i do get like an energy boost even though these like aren't for energy but i don't know like every time i have a headache i drink one of these and it's instantly gone and that might be the placebo effect but i'm pretty sure it's not but i have seen some people talk about how there's like a bunch of like added sugar in it um i don't care about that so and then this is really random but i just wanted to show you all these because these are like my go-to snack pretty much all the time like i always have these in the kitchen they're just the kind bar thins I prefer the thin ones because I don't know I just like like Oreo thins I feel like are so much more fun to eat I don't know why I just like them um and they're like small if I need to grab something to eat like while I'm running out the door um these are perfect and I get the dark chocolate almond and sea salt okay I have two more things to show you and they're like kind of like apparel items so first are my loafers obviously loafers are very trendy and like in style right now i feel like it's kind of hard to find like a cute pair that are like gonna go with everything and i assume that you've seen um the prada ones but those are obviously very expensive and these are the closest match that i could find to the prada ones for a reasonable price these are steve madden by the way but i've already gotten so much use out of these um i bought them last year actually but they do still sell them and i feel like they're a pretty good investment because you can literally wear them with anything i mean i've seen people wear them with skirts dresses jeans pants like and i have considered um buying the prada ones because i do feel like they would be a very good investment and not like a stupid purchase well like kind of but like not really but like i could find a way to justify it because i feel like i would wear them a lot this is like me trying to like talk myself into buying them but i'm gonna stick with these for now and then lastly is my literal favorite hat of all time i literally wear this hat so often it matches like literally everything and i feel like hats just like if you're missing like an element to your outfit it's like an easy way to add something but yeah i'm literally always wearing this hat oh nice all right well i think that is it for this video i think i'm gonna do a video similar to this but strictly with like clothing just to show like my favorite staples and maybe my favorite shoes but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will make sure to link everything in the description and don't forget to check out my collection shameless self promo but i love you guys and i will see you in the next one